Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Luke Diebold, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about Gridsum's View Remark, which basically just allows you to use markdown files in your Gridsum projects. So we're gonna go ahead and start a new project by going Gridsum Create, and we'll just call it View-Remark. Awesome, so that's done. I'm just gonna copy this here, paste it in, and then open up this directory in code. So we have this fresh project. I'm gonna open up the command, Maybe zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see a bit better. There we go. And we'll say yarn add at gridsum slash view dash remark. So we're gonna add the plugin there. And in the meantime, I'm just going to go to pages index.view and just get rid of a lot of this here. Readjust things a little bit. Yeah, so we can get rid of everything inside the layout, I think. And there we go. And now that that's installed, we can say Gridsum develop. Control click, and we're all set and ready to go. So I've just removed everything inside here. Now the first thing we need to do is configure view remark. And to do that, we're going to go to gridsum.config.js and we're going to add it to the plugin section. So the first thing we'll do is create an object for view remark and we'll say use at gridsum slash view dash remark. Okay, so that's basically saying that we're going to be using the remark plugin. And then we're going to have to put in some options as well. So we say options pass through an object and the type name, this is the type that it's going to be viewed as in GraphQL. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about that. We're gonna talk about it in a second. And then we're going to have a base directory. So this is where all of your markdown files are going to sit. And we'll put that in dot slash docs. Okay, so we're going to create a new folder here called docs. All right, so basically we're saying, hey, I want you to jump into this folder docs and find all of the markdown files. So let's go ahead and create one to start with. And we'll call this index.md. So index markdown. Now next, we're going to define a template. So we'll say template. So we're gonna build this in a second, but let me give you a quick rundown of what the template does. So you might have, for example, a single file component that looks something like this, something that you've probably seen a few times before. And now what you can do is have, for example, a nav bar at the top, and then maybe you've got a footer sitting at the bottom. So you want this to be on every single docs page. And then maybe the HTML itself, so the markdown itself, will be rendered in between those two. And in order to do that, we use a special component called view remark content. Okay, so this is what our template's going to look like. And basically what it does is it slots everything in there. So we can add some like pretty stuff around our content. So we'll get rid of that for now and move along. And the location of our template is going to be in source slash templates slash documentation dot view. So we're going to have to create that file. I'm just gonna copy this here going to templates and say new file, paste that in and just throw in my basic view snippet. All right, so that's looking good. Now the last thing I'm going to do is put the path prefix in here. So we'll say path prefix and set that to slash docs. And what that basically means is in order to find index.md, for example, we would have to say mywebsite.com slash docs slash, okay, because index can be defined with just slash. If we had another file in there, so for example, introduction.md, then in that case, it would be slash docs slash introduction slash, all right? So hopefully that makes sense. This path relates to what's written here. Oh, introduction. Cool, all right, so now that that's all set up, let's save it and work on the template. So we'll come in here, I'm going to create the most simple template. I'm literally just gonna wrap everything in a div. Okay, so then we can say view remark content, and then our content, so whatever's sitting inside here, for example, is just gonna slot straight into there. Now, the last thing to do is to actually create one of these markdown files. Okay, so we wanna have some front matter, which will look something like this. We'll give it a title equal to my 
docs index, just something really simple. Excerpt you could have, for example, but we're just gonna leave it as a title for now. Keep things really simple. So these are my docs. Save that. Now I'm gonna shut this server down and restart it because it looks like things haven't been refreshing. That's okay, sometimes when I change things in the config, it just doesn't refresh straight away. So we'll wait for that. So now if I go to this website slash docs, I should get the index. So let's have a look and see if that works. Slash docs, and it does. These are my docs. Now the next thing we wanna try is going to introduction. So let's go to docs slash introduction. There's actually nothing there, so let's type something in here. Put in some front matter. Title will be equal to the introduction. I just wanna get something up and running really quick for you guys, so something simple will do. This is the intro. Save that, and there we go, it works. So I think in the next video what we'll do is make it so that we can view all of the doc pages here. So we can query it so that all of these doc pages come through, we can click on one of those pages, and it'll take us, for example, to the docs index. So hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. See you in the next video where we'll dive a little bit deeper.